Hello, beautiful souls. So, the message that I have been given to give today is focused around how it is that we can best allow ourselves to be stable and consistent in the happiness and, and creativity that we want to have and bring to this world. And um, clearly, uh, at this time, there is um, a lot of shifts and changes that are going on, um, more so in the political sphere, um, so we see. And so the greatest thing that we can do to not get swept up in the controversy, in, in the media, in um, the opinions uh, that we and people have, is to be secure in what it is that we're doing. And so the best way to do that is to remember that we are all born here with gifts and talents and skills that we develop and also are born with. And we are to use those gifts, skills, and talents to contribute to the world that we want to see. And absolutely, the world that we want to see is first going to be born inside our own minds as a vision, as, as a recognition of our ability to collectively cooperate, to create, to um, have a world where politics and medicine and education and science and everything is aligned with integrity and justice and, and benefit for everyone. And um, the reason why this vision for a world is possible is because we aren't just these bodies in form that are born to die. We are actually eternal souls that cannot die, but are filled with purpose and passion and, um, you know, want to see everyone benefit because we are one with everybody. And so I have found for me personally, the way to remain consistent and stable is to have a daily practice um, that is integrated with my mind training and my purpose. So so when I wake up in the morning, the very first thing that I do is set my intention for the day. Like, what do I want to come of this day? And I literally declare to the universe the type of day I want, how I want to feel, how I want to see my relationships, and what it is that I want to do, do and accomplish for that day. And I may, like, generally, I'll, you know, make coffee, make a little snack for Ella, um, have her in her chair, make Tom you know, coffee as well, and I'll sit in my chair, and I will literally um, journal, like, two three pages maybe of what it is that I want to come of the day and I literally will use the prayer that um, is given us in the A Course in Miracles which is actually like the original manuscripts so it's not even in the FIP um, but it is um, the prayer of help me to perform whatever miracles you would have of me today help me to perform whatever miracles you would have of me today and literally what I have found this does is it gives my day to God, it gives my day to the universe, it gives my day to the power of my own soul to literally work through me and live through me. And I find that <clears throat> when I decide for God, then God decides for me how my day will be. And my day is always amazing, effortless, peaceful, joyful, creative, cooperative, and everything that I would want it to be. So starting your day right is profoundly important. Jesus speaks of this in, um, um, as for the rest, at the very end of the A Course in Miracles, he also speaks of this in chapter 30 um, in the Rules for Decision about how important it is to literally um, set your day with the universe to allow the universe to work for you and with you. Like that's where our power is and our power to choose and our power to decide and our power to think constructively and inclusively of everyone on this planet. And I think now is the time to step out of the small of what can I do for myself and my family alone, but what can I do for myself, for my family, and for humanity? Like we need to take that leap to the all, to the everyone, to include everyone in our day and in our thinking and in our happiness. Because um, if we don't do that, then we're forgetting ourselves, right? The only way that we can really help ourselves is by helping our brothers because our brothers, again, are one with us. So the second part of this is throughout the day, whenever it is feasible, I literally ask for help. Ask for help in what to say, ask for help in, in what to do, ask for help in how to see a situation. And um, this is just, this is part of the mind training. And what are we asking for help? Who are we asking for help? We are asking the Holy Spirit, our higher self, our soul, um, the, the vision that we can all share, how it is that we can actually see things correctly. Because ultimately everything begins in the mind and from the mind it extends to our world. And so if we're looking upon the things and the happenings of the world and getting all riled up and hurt by it and seeing other people are being hurt by it, then that's a perfect opportunity to ask for help. And we can do this all through the day. Lastly, we can conclude our day in gratitude because gratitude is the power 
that aligns us with the universal will. It is the power that allows us to see that our will is one with God's and that when we give our day to him, he will make our day so incredible that like we realize we could have never ever ever done that if we planned it on our by ourselves alone so all gratitude is to him all gratitude is to our brothers who are on this journey with us all gratitude is to ourselves for taking the steps that we need to take every single day to be the greatest self that we can be here and and literally grateful for this vision of the new world that can be born in our mind and then birthed through us into this world you know some people call it the time of the birthing of the Christ some people call it the time of the birthing of the new world world, um, the new earth, the whatever you want to call it, um, but we literally are to, um, you know, be bringers of the gifts of, of peace, of happiness, and to make this world happy, and, and that's the only way we are all going to be free. So there's a lot of work to be done, <laughs> both inside and in our world, but if we start our day by starting it correctly, remembering ourselves of our purpose throughout our day, asking for help throughout our day, and concluding our day in gratitude and literally just going through how grateful we are for everything that's happening, everything that's going to happen, and for who we are, we cannot not experience miracles here. So this is my message today. I feel grateful that I'm living this every day as the testament of the power of these small, simple practices. And so that's it. I love you all. I hope it helps you as much as it's helped me. God bless you. Thank you for doing your part. Goodbye. <laughs>